What's up guys, here I have this beautiful 28 inch 4K display from Samsung. This is model number U28D590 and this is one of the most popular models on the market right now uh, running around $500 on Amazon. With that said, I picked up mine for $200 used and um, at that price it was a steal. I, I didn't really think the purchase through before I bought it and I had to have it for that um, that price. It's almost, it's less than half the price for a new one. So today I'd like to go over some of the capability issues with running this 4K display on this 2000, late 2014 Mac Mini um, or also the early 2015 Mac Mini so-called. And then I'm gonna talk about some of those issues and then I'll let you also know how it runs with my 2013 uh, 15-inch Retina MacBook Pro running Intel Iris uh, graphics. So first starting off, we're going to talk about the four, 2000, late 2014 Mac Mini. A um, couple problems running 4K on that or running this display on that. Running 4K, we're only able to do that using a HDMI cable on this computer here. And we're limited to 30 hertz. So right now I have the monitor on 1080 and I'm going to change the resolution here for you. So we just go to settings. Again, this is the Mac Mini plugged in with the HDMI port. This is 4K here. So you can see 4K versus 1080, it's a huge difference. We've got so much more screen real estate. We can run like four, four things running on each corner basically. Um, so personally though, I think 4K is a little overplayed. Um, it's really impossible to be reading any of these menu items, looking at these things. Um, it's just really hard to use 4K on this type of setup here. So I wouldn't recommend personally using a 4K display or going out to go buy one immediately. Um, the resolution is way too small to be using. You can see here our menu. This this is absolutely tiny. So again, this is running at 30 hertz. And you can see there's a little mouse lag here. So where the mouse is, it should be running smoothly. However, if you move it fast, there's, there's a little lag in there. Um, so that's the only drawback to using 4K on this 2014 Mac Mini. The resolution I like using the most on the Mac Mini would be this uh, 256 0 by 1440. And this runs at 60 hertz. And you can see here the mouse lag noticeably less. And it's just a lot smoother. We can still edit. You know, we still got a good amount of um, readable font and images. The problem with running this resolution on this Mac Mini is the the images come out blurry. So again, um, running going back to running this resolution, it gives us a really blurry image. So after doing some research, I figured out I needed to use a Display Port 2, um, no, a Thunderbolt 2 Display Port to run 60 hertz 4K. So doing that with our Mac Mini. You can see the Mac Mini is actually incapable of running 4K using a DisplayPort connector, um, a Thunderbolt 2 DisplayPort. So my final opinion is I would not recommend using 4K, especially at 30 hertz and on this 2014 Mac Mini. Um, however, the 4K display works well if you do are capable of running 60 hertz. So again, check out that link below where um, it details all the computers from Apple that are capable of running 4K and um, their refresh rates they are able to run at. So to show you a computer that is capable of running 4K, I have my Retina MacBook Pro here. And let me type in my password. And again, we have to use the Thunderbolt 2 Mini Display Port to get it to run 4K at 60 Hertz. 
Here you can see we got smooth screen action here, the mouse no lag running at the 60 hertz refresh rate. And then this is just a simple web page running 4K. You can see that the font is absolutely tiny, it's hard to read. Um, again, personally, I don't recommend using 4K. So, final opinion on this monitor. This monitor is awesome if you really want to run 4K. If you're going to watch 4K movies, um, I suggest using a lower resolution when you're doing work and then switching over to 4K if you're going to watch a 4K movie. Um, it's great if you have a computer that's capable of running 60 hertz. On the Mac Mini, I don't suggest it running 30 hertz at all. It's It just was really annoying uh, running at 30 hertz and um, just the whole lagginess of it was really annoying for me. As always, thank you guys for watching. If you found this video helpful, hit that thumbs up button. Remember to check out more videos on my channel and um, hit that subscribe button if you like this or want to see more updates. As always, have a great one and I'll see you guys in the next one.